Roger Hitchens is going to try to recruit other members, other companies to raise the sum of $25,000. That's about half a million dollars today. So Hitchens is looking to get around a half a million dollars worth of commitment from other members to get the Mellon Institute to do some of the, the dirty work that they want done to help solve this dust problem. The dust problem, meaning the litigation problem. Now, the Mellon Institute, I've got a great, great advertisement here. When they built the Mellon Institute in this building, uh, Jones and Laughlin Steel was so proud of getting to do this great building that they advertised it. Mellons uh, were, in, were a group of bankers, uh, a family of bankers that funded much of the Industrial Revolution, steel, oil, gas, all of that stuff. These were big names. And getting the Mellon Institute in this really official looking, I mean, this looks like a government building, to get their name on the work, the research that they want done, that would be a big win for the asbestos and the silica and the, just the dust industry in general because they're buying this credibility. And unfortunately for the world, the Mell Institute was selling their credibility, as you'll see here shortly. So Roger Hitchens begins recruiting members to fund and join this organization, and he sends out a letter to all of the people that showed up at this symposium. The purpose of this letter is to ask your company or your trade association, as the case may be, if it will subscribe for an amount not to exceed $500 for the establishment of a coordinating agency as the first move toward a study of the many existing phases of the industrial dust problem coordinating agency. They want to have one shop where everything goes so they can have total control over the sphere of knowledge, what is known and what is deemed to be knowable about these problems. They want to do it all in one spot for efficiency and for control. This is about what they knew and what they should have known. If the Mellon Institute in its own studies finds something harmful and does not disseminate it to the rest of the companies that fund it, then those companies don't know what that hazard was. They can't be deemed, well, you should have known because the Mellon Institute knew. What they're doing instead is the Mellon Institute will control the flow of information and the companies get to all pat themselves on the back and say, we care about these problems so much, we're funding the Mellon Institute and the Mellon Institute is trying to control all knowledge. They're trying to gain everything so they can tell us what we need to know. And part of what the it became the Industrial Hygiene Foundation, that's what this project is, part of what the Industrial Hygiene Foundation did was shape knowledge, write it up, and send it out to their membership. If this were going on in 2022, we might say that Hitchens is just trying to crowdfund a, a PR campaign, really. This, this, this is the goal is to get people to pay for this third party institute to manage any studies that are coming out about dust diseases, public relations issues, the whole thing, even guidance on how to set their factories and plants and stuff up to avoid liability. So this is what the, the, the germination of the seed that will become the Industrial Hygiene Foundation.